Today is January, I believe it's January 4th now. Yep, January 4th. It's 12.30 a.m. I have been at this for... Seventeen months. <laughs> I've been at this for seventeen months. And there are people who went through a training course that stepped up like six months of massive loss, six months of small loss, six months of small gain, and now they're they are able to trade for a living. So today I suppose, I suppose today is a day that is going to make it or break it for me. I can blame everybody on earth for my deficiency. I can, I can say that, uh, I can give all kinds of excuse. The reality is I have to I have to be an expert in order to compete with these individuals who are um, the upper echelon of of being able to physically and mentally being able to excel as a day trader and swing trader. So I'm, I've come to a crossroad at this moment. I am not fully conscious of what's going on. But I have, I have essentially, essentially uh, ran into the situation now where I thought uh, this is something that I will do. Uh, but I'm, I'm thinking right now, and I may offend every human being on earth by making these statements, but it's okay because I'm talking about myself and nobody else. And if there's any relation to anybody else on earth that have lived or will ever live, it is not about wh whatever that is. It's just about me. It is okay for me to talk about it because it's me. It's no one, nobody else. So, <clears throat> first, I have to restate, I am so fortunate. Though, in comparison to what I was making uh, before I was convicted as a felon, to what I'm making now uh, is a dramatic difference. Uh, this critical job <laughs> as a dishwasher is essentially saving my neck right now. <laughs> it is incredibly essential <clears throat> for me to perpetuate this study <clears throat> That's why it's making me so like upset. Due to their generosity, I have been able to be employed there. And just like my car, I don't know how long that's going to last. I'm not getting younger. I'm getting older. And, uh, and... As with anything, people retire for a reason, okay? Because their their brain gets tired and their body gets tired, and they and things just become uh, more like cement, and it's hard to break free from old habits as I become older and older. So this is so important. This is so important. I need to make it. I need to make this work. I have to make this work. 
working as a day trader, I have to I have to make it work. And if I said anything or uh, have construed in any way to be derogatory or uh, upset anybody, it's uh, it has nothing to do with you whatsoever. It just this is about me. And whatever I say or do or whatever, it is it is all about me attempting to get back up. And I have I have a couple of things that I, I wish to achieve. And if I achieve that and enter into my old age, I will be satisfied, fully, fully gratified that I have lived a very meaningful life. It seems to be, it seems to be uh, this idleness, the feeling of idleness, not making any progress just makes it more difficult to, to deal with right now. So, and, and uh, I was, I, I was, I was making strides, but it was based on, it was based on a false uh, conclusion about my uh my tra trading strategy because the market was going in the way that I was thinking and the way that I was trading and that was that's why on a st statistically um it happens and so my conclusion was incorrect so now I need to I need to become an expert I, I pray God is just showing these words. I, I pray God is recording these words to me so that I can hear it. So, so I'm logically thinking this out now. And um, it, wouldn't it be great if there was somebody who, who, like, who does this thing, who says, okay, this is what you do, and then I would do it. And, and that person would be like, right there saying okay so this is this you just made a mistake right there you have to do this again see you did this again okay so and i repeat it and repeat it repeat it and then then the person will say okay you're you've done that for this long and then you're gonna see certain things that would behave in this manner that's why you got to use the stop loss okay so that so that when your thesis is incorrect then you're gonna be able to save yourself that's how important it is, right? So these are these are things that somebody has already crossed. Somebody has already gone through this uh, this road. That can only be done by taking a course and getting trained on it. So I just look at it, and I have like wrinkles around my eye here, and then my forehead's getting wrinkles. I'm getting wrinkles because <laughs> I'm 53 years old. And now I'm thinking about the, the, the a company that I used to work for and the man who was running that company was on LinkedIn and he's like, he's old now and he's definitely wrinkled. And I thought to myself, boy, you're, boy, you got wrinkles. I have wrinkles. So, these office evolution people are so generous. And I've been here for like over a year, just sitting here, eating things, dropping things, out of their goodness. Um, and I'm not making any progress. And I joined a, another club, a club, and these people are, I mean, they're really good people. They're, they are, according to the, 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 the administrator, I mean, there are people who are making consistent money. There are, they are professionals, okay? They may write a paragraph, but it makes no sense to me. I'll say, hey, yeah, that's great. Thank you for the inspiration, but it, 
I have to get there. I have to get there so that I can, I can, I can firmly grasp uh, what I need to do in order to uh, make it in this world as a day trader. So, so let's just think this out. Let's let's just think it out, okay? So what do I do? So I have to I have to think it out from step by step by step by step, and then of all those steps, what are the intricacies and what can I do to to make it better? And when I make it better, then um, <clears throat> then I will be able to be con be consistent. So I have to start asking myself these questions. Okay, so. So the so the first question is okay. So where do I start? Okay, so let's start with the capital. I have capital right now. I do. Any amount of capital is sufficient, and I can add a little bit. Uh, thanks for the dishwashing job. Um, so I can add a little bit each month if need be. Okay, it'll take some time, but I can add it. So that is available. Okay, so that's available. So I need to think in excruciating detail. And I want to record this so that I, I keep keep thinking about it, keep working on it. That's the only way that I'm going to make this work. So I have the capital. I have me I have software that allows me to trade. So and I have a very robust uh, means to make returns, significant and meaningful returns. So I have that method. So that's there. Now, the, the, what happens is it's so simple. Everybody knows this. I, I, everybody knows this. It's so simple, but it's so difficult. So the first part is just buy and then hold for a little bit and sell. That's it. But the here, but the more most complicated part is buying. Okay, so I could just buy and sell, buy and sell. But the but the reality is um, that is essentially approximately about a 50-50 chance. But if I'm going uh, long all the time, and when the market is turning down, then every time is going to lose. It's going to, uh, it's called a paper cut. It's going to keep going down. So, <clears throat> that's the reality. So then, what I need to do, there's a couple of things that I need to do. One of them is stock selection. And why do I select that stock? Why? Why do I select that stock? One of the reasons is because it moves a lot, Okay. So that's the reason why I would select that stock. The second part is it's it's demonstrating a clear move in a particular direction, whether it's up or down. It's demonstrating that. Then that is the critical part. So how do I identify the the second part? The first part uh, it can be uh, I can just I can look at it. The return will be different. So that's not a that's a minor issue. So the second part is the major issue, is saying which which direction is that stock moving in. That is the that is the critical question that I need to um, to figure out. When I figure that out, then my thesis will latch onto it and say that is my thesis. That's my thesis. Okay? So, I need to find means to identify which direction the stock is moving. And that is very, very complex. Hindsight is twenty twenty. I can see it and it moves in that direction. That's right. That's how it works. So, that's that's the one one of the major things that I need to work on. That is that is something that uh, professional professionals know about. That they know they have 
certain ways to determine which direction it's moving. They have it. They have a higher probability of understanding which direction it's moving. So, the other part is they have also the magnitude in the direction that it moves. Okay? So they're going <clears> to, <throat> they know, this is, what time is it? It's like 1 o'clock right now. It's 1 o'clock. <clears throat> I decided, to, um, typically, what I do is I attempt to work as hard as I can in my evening job as a dishwasher. That's what I'm hoping to do. And what I'm hoping to do is to spend as much um, intensity uh, working as a uh, day trader. If I don't do this, um, it's hard to think about anything else. So this is it. This is this is truly it. There's there's nothing else. This, this is, a lot of people have options. I, I don't. So this is it. And after, all, after a loss, and if there's any part of me that is like laughing at my own situation, I, I pray that it leaves. This is serious. So... So that's where I am now. So <clears throat> I need to figure that out. I need to figure that part of it out. I'm going to keep talking about it. I'm going to keep talking about it. And I'm going to write it, write it down and I'm going to take action on it so that I can figure out how I can improve myself. So one of the, one of the things that I look at is the chart patterns is is one of one of the things that I can look at. The other is the the I'm studying price action so far. Nothing has it, it just conf it's confusing for for me at this moment because it totally has trans. It's I have what past three weeks has been enormously difficult for me in day trading. It has yeah. So that's that's where I am. So what I'm hoping to do is to figure this out. So, so what? So one one of the part one of the things that uh, professionals talk about is okay. I'll just say they. It just so what they talk about is they talk about um, using the candlestick chart formation, for instance, like like the flag. And the second part is using uh, price action. Okay, the movements of the price. And then third is fundamentals. They have a, a fairly good understanding of what the fundamentals are so they can look, look, use the fundamentals to guide them in, 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 in trading. Because it, so they may be doing swing trading. That's why it's, uh, it's useful for the people who are swing trading. <clears throat> so there are also indicators, indicators that says, okay, if it does this, I make a certain amount, and that's what I'm doing. So that's that's what they're doing. So, um, so essentially, purchasing requires a uh, enormous amount of work in order to get into it. So so far, I've seen. Um, some of the professionals and even trading firms, they have, they selected certain stocks of interest that they have, they they believe will be a beneficial to trade for them, because they've done research on it, uh, in the in days past, which guide it helps them to figure things out, uh, know things far better. So that's how they do that. I alone sitting here. Um, washing dishes in the evening and then uh, just getting here and then trading most of the day 
and not knowing too much is just spinning my wheels. I need to stop that. This is year 2023. So I'm attempting to figure this out. Figure, figure this out. And I don't want to, like, wake up one more one more day later, one day, and say, "Look, you know, I'm I've been here a year ago, and I'm still here." I don't want to be in that situation. So I need to fix it. I need to fix it somehow. Um. <sighs> So, that's where I am. Um, so once once I once I increase the po uh, possibility probability by making selecting the right stock and selecting the right direction, then there's the part of how long do I hold it? Okay. Now the stop loss is going to uh, define how short I will hold it for, from the other side and it will define how then there will be situations of how long will I hold it okay how long will I hold the stock will I hold the stock um, will I hold the stock uh, because because the stock does not move in a in a straight line. What it will do is it'll move up, drop, and then come back up, or it'll 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 move and then just drop. So there's certain things that I need to be aware of that tells me how long I can hold on to a stock. So. Um, so so like like Tesla so that's that's the situation. So when I set the stop loss and a limit order, I'm attempting to make it so that I have sufficient amount of gain. What I can do, I suppose I suppose what I can do is remove reduce the reduce reduce the loss to win, keep it keep the same ratio of the R, but make the magnitude smaller. So that that that'll allow me a greater uh, chance of making money, m making in some gains. So practically, when I reduce this, when reduce the window of gains, then it'll my win win rate will significantly improve. If I am consistent in the way that I'm selecting the entry point, based on its behavior, on 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 chart formation, the candlestick formation. <clears throat> okay I was at work today I was surprised that one of my co-workers asked me to pray pray for uh, her sister and I just made a comment that that was something so obvious to me and then the boss comes over and he says, well, could you, maybe you should pray for me too. And I'm thinking, well, I'm thinking, this, this guy, I'm, I'm thinking, this, this guy is a, he's probably, he's more of a Catholic than I am. And this is asking me to pray for him, right? <laughs> so, um, it reminds me of, it reminds me of uh, when I was in the shelter, this pastor was there. And he he knows how to pray. Now, now I'm gonna make a. See, I'm not smart enough to move myself, so I'm just asking God. Okay, help me move in the direction of consistently profitable day trader. See, I, I know that's selfish. <laughs> I, I know that's selfish. I'm willing to do the work. 
just moving me <laughs> move me in that direction okay god just move me in that direction i'll do all the work okay i'm i'm willing to do the work just show me what work i need to do okay i'm not i'm not asking god and say hey make it happen tomorrow that's not what i want what i'm asking god is i know this is very very selfish <laughs> it is probably the most selfish thing on earth really i'm asking god to move me in a direction where i will i will have lifelong prosperity as a day trader that's what i'm asking but what i'm asking god is this look um i'm willing i mean look i'm in this situation um right i'm i'm in this situation i have nowhere to go um and i i i can honestly tell you god that i i am devoted to you i am i am i am devoted to you um so that's why i'm like boldly making this 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 prayer okay i'm not asking for something for free i'm just <laughs> i'm just i'm just I'm just throwing it out there. See, the thing is, you know, there's, um, I know that I'm not smart enough alone to move in that direction. I just need, maybe, maybe God did do that. Maybe he did. That I just missed it. Maybe that one time when I had enough was with that training I, you know, I could, boy, yeah, yeah. I missed it, looks like. God was extending his hands to me and saying, hey, take this course. Take this course, that's what he's saying. But I, I did not take it. So I need to, it will happen, okay? And he knows that I'm fallible. And uh, I hope, I hope that happens again. Hopefully things will work. In the meantime, the objective is for me to keep studying. What I'm studying, it's difficult to say. One thing I know is um, in any stock, I have to know how to pick the direction. I have to be consistent. I have to know how I have to know which direction the stock is going intraday. That's what I'm attempting to do at this moment. I have to know which direction the stock is going. Then when I do that, when I know that I need to figure out where does that, where does it start? Okay, where does it start? Which direction is it going and where does it start? And when I figure that out, then I can get in. And then it's a matter of how long I hold it. Okay, that's the that's that should be the easier part because whatever this choice that I make, as long as it's under the umbrella of retracement, okay, then then I will be prosperous. Is is the idea to maximize the gains? It seems like a lot of people, a lot of there's a lot of professionals who are essentially they're attempting to gain as much as possible uh, with a particular stock that they have done research on and which will provide them with the maximum amount of gain okay that's it and so they spend a uh, a lot of time uh scoping out which stocks to trade so once they figure this out some of them may become a dud essentially stopping out but there could be one or two which will be a enormous amount of gain okay instead of some on the on the flip side there's there's an individual who uh is trading for a higher percentage of gains essentially and that still can be profitable as well so i saw this uk spread rating uh, price action uh description about 10 trades two of them are losers and eight of them are winners Okay? But if the stop loss is placed for those two losses 
and the gains are, are essentially the same, that is an enormous amount of gain. So I need to work towards that. So tomorrow is going to be, tomorrow, it's essentially what I'm attempting to do is create a track record of trades so that I can turn this thing around. So I need to be able to, uh, to trade whether it's going to be uptrending or downtrending. Is this recording, by the way? Oh, it's recording. It's 30 minutes in. Maybe I was just talking to like a, like a, like a, this, the cell phone that, that just reflects me, but it wasn't doing anything, right? Anyway, so I made my prayer. So, uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's time. It's time that I, I wake up. Something, something needs to click. I've been at this for like, my God, it's been like a year and seven months. It, boy, it's, it's been a long time. I got to pay for the registration. Uh, I have a court day coming up in February. Uh, somehow the gas just gets drained a lot. Uh, and I have auto insurance. Anyway, I could just go on and on and on. <laughs> this used to not matter at all <laughs> but now it does and uh i'm so, i i hope i you know today today it felt a bit weird it felt it felt a little bit weird at work today um i hope everything's all right i hope i i hope everything's okay i i pray I pray everything is all right. Um, yeah, I, I I pray it is. Yeah. Yeah, it should be. So now let's focus focus on this. It's like one o'clock, and I've been uh, making this. Yeah, it's one or two a.m. now. So I have to this. I have to make this work. So now I'm I'm attempting to. I have to keep working on this and my uh, essentially reversion trading going long is essentially even if the market is dipping that seems to be a very it, it seems to be a viable thing to do because even if it dips quite a bit just like today uh, it will it will dip and at a certain point It'll start, there, there'll be some profit taking. But certain days, what it will do is it'll finish open and then it'll dip and it close at the low of the day. So that's inevitable. That's something that a stop loss will take care of. But that that type of situations are, are smaller percentages. That's where out of the 10 trades, two trades may turn out to be that way. And one of the categories of losing that way. And that's, so... Even with a 50-50 chance of winning to losing, when I'm able to enter correctly and I have the right ratio of the win and losses, one to five is 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 very difficult to to uh, to. That would be very difficult to get, I would think, especially when some of these stocks are moving. Like, how would you do that? I would have to. I would have to enter precisely at the right moment to acquire one to five. Really, because um, these little noise, the noise alone will trigger a stop loss. Okay, when 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 I'm talking about a, uh, a range of values that are small, when it's small, then a precise Entry is required to create a risk to reward of one to five. When I have a one to five win to, uh, uh, loss to a win ratio, then when I have eight out of ten winners, that is essentially uh, that's a that's a that's a big win, right? So. I'm glad I'm having a conversation with you, right? It's great to, to discuss this. And I, I, I pray that this year is different. 
I pray. Okay, so if I were to recollect what I did, uh, uh, there is some difference. There is some difference between previous year and right now. I, I'm finding a better way of losing money. <laughs> more, more sophisticated way of losing money. That's the difference right now. So I need to stem the, I, I, I need to break this habit. So 20 years ago when I bought the stock and I had a stop loss, it would have just gotten out and, and that would have been the end of the story 20 years ago. Right? If I knew anything about these things. But as, as I started to view YouTube, I've been talking for like 30, 30 some odd minutes. Um, when, I, when I work at uh, Westside Drive-In, I pray many, many customers go there because it's helping me stay employed. It's saving my life. So when I go there, customers order something and I, I would like, uh, at a higher tone, I would say, oh, uh, a large chef, okay, it's a salad, right? There's some, there's like, like turkey and ham and, and a couple different cheese and, uh, uh, <laughs> iceberg lettuce mixed in with other other type of like kale and things like that, right? So that's that's the large chef. That's how that's how it's made, and it's delicious. I had one of those before, <laughs> so I would I would vocalize that, and I'm with you know, and and, and and me being an old man, it's very sensitive to hearing. Uh, <laughs> but those young people, they're their hearing must be very, very good. And so, <laughs> and um, anyway, so this is a far different departure in communicating with myself. It is amazing that I'm sitting here talking to you and what I'm talking about, you already know. And yet, I've been able to talk for about all oh, the past 30 minutes on this particular subject so there's 365 days in a year there are like four extra days or something like that for a leap year or something like that right i have to look it up to see what it is but generally speaking just put it just say it's 365 days a year and out of those six 365 days a year there's 52 weeks and out of those 52 weeks um, so roughly about five days are trading days, roughly, but there are like holidays, lots of holidays, uh, more than 10 days of holidays, maybe 15 days of holidays in the, in the stock market. Okay. When I'm work, when I was working for a, uh, a, a company, I think they had like paid eight of them, eight of them are like paid holidays per year. So, so there's 52 weeks in a year, okay? 52 weeks and five days. So that's 260 days approximately. Subtract about uh, 15 days for uh, holidays, right? So 252, uh, what is that? Okay, so uh, 52 times five, 260, okay? 260 minus, just say 20 days. So. 200, roughly about 240 days of trading days. Yesterday was the first day. So I now have, what is that? 219 days for this year to, to trade. Now, if each of those days that I trade, I am able to make uh, uh, $100, I might be able to make approximately about $20,000 this year right it's it's impossible right now i know because i have shown with a track record that i have been consistently losing every year so what is different is something that i haven't done is essentially what novices always do they only go long and i need to today was a prime example if i were to short it somewhere here I would have done really well. Shorted and then went to here and when it's about to turn, I would have sold. I would have been out of there like within like a, a, an hour or two of opening. So that's the situation, okay? 
So now, <clears throat> see the futures are, like right now, futures are indicating that it's green. But usually when it was when it was like declining, every every day it would be like red, red. For the past three weeks it's been red. So this might be foretelling of a, um, that it's moving up. And there is a thing called the January effect. I'm not sure how that's related. So what January effect will do is the lower price stocks will appreciate in value. That's what's going to happen. And then the uh, larger cap stocks, their stocks will start to uh, drop. Okay, they start to start to drop. That's the it's called the January effect. Not sure what the, why why that's the case. I'm not sure. Maybe it's maybe the. the Maybe they're looking for a more aggressive, uh, the, the, the large fund managers wants to take on more uh, risky trades in order to, uh, not sure how that works out. I'm not sure why they would do that. Because tax, tax selling would have occurred like in December, right? So this is January. Maybe they're rearranging their portfolio. Maybe from large cap to small caps, and then sometime later uh, during the year, uh, they may s flip it and, and turn it around again. So that's where I am. So, um, so this is a long winded uh, this this verbal communication between you. I need to go back to, I need to go get some sleep because I, uh, I have work to do tomorrow. I have to, I have to do some work. Um, I have to do some work. And, um, so what do I need to do? How do I do this? How do I, how do I, how do I, how do I move on? How do I move in the right direction? How do I, how do I, how do I figure this out? How do I solve this? How do I, how do I, how do I figure this thing out so that this year will be different than last year? How do I make it different? How do I make it, ah, uh, how do I make it different? 